9 a.m. But we're eating chocolate, aren't we? So we got up at half four, didn't we? So it's technically a midday snack. So I'm just jumping on um, while I'm sat editing this vlog. This is the following Wednesday now um, and I've realised that I actually deleted a set of footage from this video. Um, so I actually was considering not even uploading this vlog because I feel like it was such a fail but I also just feel like people like to just watch everyday life and they probably just like to see a bit of a boring day as a mum, a stressful day as a mum because that in reality is what mum life is pretty much about 80% of the time. Um, but we got up really early on that Friday morning. He was awake, I think, at half four. So it was a really long morning. We literally walked to the shop at like half eight in the morning. I got him some chocolate. And then I had a really nice package to open from Bambini Fashion. So I'm going to upload this footage now. And then you will see the rest of the day that happened on Friday. Um... Like I say, it didn't really go to plan. I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to because my child was just in meltdown city. I think it was just because it was so warm and it's not been warm for quite a while, probably since we went on holiday. So I don't think he was like prepared for the weather and pregnant me was not prepared for it either. So I am gonna upload this vlog because it's just reality and mum life. And even the footage from Bambini fashion, um, I've got some gorgeous bits, but Casper wouldn't really let me film it properly, but I'm still going to show you anyway because that's the reality and I have a great discount code for you guys as well. So I'm going to add this now. So I've just come on to quickly show you what I have been sent by Bambini Fashion. Um, so I've got a few bits for a little girl and then I've just got a really lovely t-shirt for Casper. So Bambini Fashion has started their summer sale in which you can shop up to 50% off site wide. Mm -hmm. So it's coming this gorgeous box. Right, I'll show you what we've got. I'm going to put the camera here so that you can join in. With so yeah, Bambini Fashion have already started their summer sale. Um, it's already up to 50% off and then my code will give you an extra 25% off. So I'm going to... This is your Casper, darling, what's wrong? I'm just trying to work, honey. Why don't you just sit on mummy's knee, look? And you can look at your new t-shirt, can't you? <gasps> so, this is Casper's new t-shirt. Um, it is by the company <laughs> Molo. And it is size 2 to 3. So, I thought it was really cute for the summer. With um, the little smiley faces on. To just pair with some black shorts. Or some denim shorts. Or even just some black leggings. If the weather is a little bit cooler. So, that is what I've picked up for Casper. And for baby girl, I have got this stunning Stella McCartney jumper. Um, it's age 0-3 and I actually can't believe how small it is. You, you do forget how small babies are, don't you? Um, so yeah, it's a Stella McCartney one and it's sustainable cotton. It just feels gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. It's so bright and colourful. What I'll do is I'll link these three items in my descri description box below along with the website and my code also i'll pop my code on the screen as well but i'll just pop it all in the description box as well just so it's a lot easier for you to find um but yeah i can't wait for her to wear this because it's not three i'm hoping that she'll be wearing it around christmas and i just think it's a lovely little jumper and then the last thing i got for a little girl is this beautiful little baby grow so again this is not three in fact it might even be yeah it's not three months and it is by Antibuys. And again, it's 100% organic cotton. On Bambini Fashion, they also, they do sell a lot of designer brands like your Ralph Lauren, your um, D&G, Kenzo, loads of things like that, Stella McCartney. But they do also sell really nice sustainable brands as well. So I've just got this lovely little flowery baby girl with the little feet in and the little buttons up. And it's just such a lovely material. It's like a ribbed 
baby girl as you can see with just some gorgeous little flowers on so i just thought that was really sweet i'm really loving flowers and stuff for little girls things although i've not bought that much but yeah i'm really happy with my little finds from bambini fashion and i'm probably going to go on there and treat myself as well with the discount code that i've got um so nearly up to 75 percent off things which is absolutely amazing especially to say that they are designer brands and she, this stuff is she, normally quite expensive so she, are you just sweeping so thank you for watching my little bambini haul i will make sure i link everything in the description box below and i'll speak to you guys soon morning, morning. yeah Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Wow, that is a leaf blower. And he is so frigging loud. I've never heard anything like it. welcome back to another vlog so i've decided that i'm just going to do a little bit of a day in the life today um, i'm going to meet some friends it's currently supposed to be the hottest day of the year so far it's june the 17th in fact it's my brother's birthday and i've still not texted him i really need to do that <laughs> and it's half 11. um i've literally just been to starbucks and ordered a starbucks because i needed to just get casper to sleep Casper to be playing in his boat, isn't it? And luckily, it's in the shade. <sighs> Mummy's patio is not in the shade, and I need it to be in the shade, to be honest. Whew. So, we've just got back from Cannon Hall because the electrician's come in because the electrician's been here all day to fit our new burglar alarm and he needs to show me how it works and connect it to my phone and stuff so I've left the girls there but to be honest I was quite glad to leave because it is so hot and I've just got this like little play suit on which is fine but I've got like really bad under boob sweat and then I didn't like wearing it without a shirt on because it's very revealing so I've got the shirt on over the top um, but once the electrician's been, I'll take it off. <laughs> so I'm just letting Castle play outside in his boat because it was really, really hot at Cannon Hall. Like we were sat under the shade, but it's still so warm. As I feel like being able to play with like water and stuff's nice, isn't it? Especially as a child. So as soon as the electrician's come, I feel like I can just chill out a little bit 
and um that's really dark yeah i feel like i can just chill out a little bit and i'll probably take my shirt off probably play in casper's boat with him um because i'm absolutely boiling <laughs> i forget what it's like to be pregnant in this heat and i'm only 22 weeks and with casper this time i was probably 28 weeks in fact i was more than that i was probably 32 weeks because i remember my baby shower i was 35 weeks at my baby shower and that was at the beginning of july and that's in two weeks time so i was literally probably like 27 28 weeks no what am i about 30 31 weeks this time so 10 weeks on top of what i am now this time last year so it's gonna be a long summer if it's gonna stay this warm i think we'll have to see won't we what happens What are you? You having a good time? It never ends. Let's be a more than friends. Yeah. You know I'm here to stay every single day. Yeah. So hold me tight. God, guys, this sun is no joke. I'm absolutely boiling. It's ah. half four. Ah. Uh, excuse me, I'm just talking. Touch. Touch. Yeah, I'm just talking, and you've stolen the camera. Haven't you? Trike. I'm taking monkeys with you. draining day we've had I don't think the heat helps and it also doesn't help when Casper gets up at half past four in the morning um I've said to myself if he gets up at that time tomorrow I'm actually just gonna leave him in his cot until half six he can cry because he's just awful when he gets about half four so he needs to learn that that is not the time to be getting up but i'm just hoping that he's that tired today that he will actually sleep till six but he's hardly eating anything which i think is the heat probably um he's not really had any lunch he's not had any tea he's had a few snacks and a bowl of porridge but he's had nothing substantial compared to what he usually has. He obviously doesn't have milk anymore. He hasn't had milk this morning. He's not had milk now. I usually give him cereal or yoghurt and fruit now. It's um, half six-ish. And he's fast asleep on the sofa. So that's not going <laughs> to go down well. But we'll see if he wakes up when Josh gets home. Because Josh should hopefully be home in 20 minutes or so. And if he isn't, then... Well, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Because I'm just... I'm just so over the day. And also... I can't be asked making tea at all. I'm a shit wife. I just really can't. I was going to make chicken and halloumi skewers um, with, like, salad... But I'm just not in the mood. I can't even be asked to get off the sofa or go into the kitchen. I feel completely drained. 
I feel like all I've done is shout, which is horrible. I don't want to be that person at all. But, oh God. Kids are just such hard work sometimes, aren't they? Like, God, they are just, they're like the best thing ever, but also the worst thing ever. I don't really don't even care if I'm saying that. Like, some days I'm like, oh my God, I love being a mum. I want, like, three kids. And some days, like now, I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, how is this enjoyable? Because right now, I've probably enjoyed about an hour of today broken up into 10 minute segments. Because I just feel like it's just been a whingy day. And all he does is demand wheels on the bus, either on the radio or on YouTube. And it's actually frightening. <laughs> Him and I'm just refusing now because I just think he can't just watch Wheels on the Bus all the time and he can't just listen to it all the time. So I had about 20 minutes of screaming in the car because I played it twice and I wouldn't play it again. He was literally screaming at me in the car, which was just awful. Um, but yeah, I just think dads just don't get it, do they? Like, he thinks that my day is hard sometimes, but he's never actually spent a day alone with him he's probably spent a day alone with him like four times in his lifetime and obviously i do it all the time um but yeah i'm just gonna stop moaning because i feel really negative but it's just the reality of our day today we've just had a shower together and i've just washed his hair and stuff but even getting out of that he's screaming at me because he wants to watch round and round he's somehow found a coca melon wheels on the bus as well which I'm not letting him watch at all because he is addicted to it and it's obviously really bad um that's it just shows that's why he's addicted to it because they say Coca Millen is literally addictive and he just doesn't take his eyes off it so I do put this like other one on and then that comes on after or he like scrolls and clicks on it because it's like below the other videos um so I might even just say Josh will literally not put it on YouTube at all anymore because it's just not great for him never really been into screen time but that is literally mesmerized by it and it's just too much i think um i don't know if to end this vlog here or actually vlog tomorrow tomorrow is saturday and we're going to eureka which is probably like 30 minutes from us 40 minutes from us it's like a children's play museum we've never been before I've been as a child but I've never taken Casper and I think it's a really good age to go and then I'm going out for tea as well so I don't know I might vlog a bit of tomorrow I might not and if I don't then I will obviously come on and end, end this vlog and if I do then I will be filming tomorrow but I'm just literally watching in the night garden I've got no idea why because the kid's fast asleep.